Welcome, you guys. I am excited to be here again because we're talking about a very touchy subject, which is pregnancy and breastfeeding when it comes to using natural supplementation. And I want to remind you guys that I'm not a doctor and I'm going to give you my best uh, advice generally. I don't get into diagnosing and treating individual people, but, um, you know, let's just get started. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to talk about pregnancy and breastfeeding when it comes to using natural supplementation and all the ins and outs of that. Um, part of the fun when it comes to using natural supplementations is knowing that it's a healthier option for you and your baby. And there are some considerations for sure. And definitely when you are growing another human, you want to be able to um, do what that human is going to be good at. I have my puppy here who's getting into stuff. So I'm going to move. He loves plastic. He loves any, any little wrappers. And then he just goes, goes nuts for things. <laughs> He's, he's playing. We do the best we can with our live videos, right, you guys? So thanks for bearing with me um, and on our podcast as well. Okay, so here's here's what's going on here. And I want, I want you guys to understand because we kind of didn't cover this in the advanced reader's copy of the supplements desk reference. And part of the reason for um, doing the advanced reader's copy was exactly for this reason. And what I mean by that is we have a group called the Founders Group, which anyone is welcome to join. But the Founders Group started with about 2,000 people, and those people knew that they were going to buy the advanced reader's copy so that they could help me determine what needed to be clarified or changed or added. And so we took a whole mess load of suggestions from so many different people on how we could make this book better. And one of the suggestions was, please, can you cover pregnancy and breastfeeding? Because there's not a lot of information out there. And so what was great, lucky for me, one of my editors, Cindy Edens, who is right in the middle of her pregnancy and has, she's, um, she's an older woman, right? She's about my age and she's having a baby. Um, and what's funny is, and this is kind of, I hope she's okay with me telling this story. Um, but what's an interesting thing is the very protocol that women use to help support fertility is the very thing we use as women to support perimenopause, right? Perimenopausal symptoms. It's the exact same protocol. And what happens is if you think this logically through, our hormones are changing. And so when we take supplements, natural supplements to support those changes, it's supporting the symptoms, right? We kind of don't want those funky symptoms. So what it's doing is it's slowing down the process and in the, in the process is putting us into fertility again. So, you know, when you think about Mary Young, who had Jacob and Joseph at a pretty advanced age, she was in her fifties, I believe. Um, you know, that's a pretty interesting thing to start to understand that you can actually take certain natural supplements to enhance and, and pull your hormonal balance back into fertility, which is awesome. So um, Cindy has been a blessing to us on our editor team and my research team, because I was able to have her help us to determine because she's a dive in research person. And she's helped us figure out like, okay, now with new information, because this is what happens, information is constantly changing. And with the new information, how can we proceed with the right cautions and the right potential use with caution and the correct avoid list, right? So we went, she, she helped me go through every single supplement Young Living carries and we put wh what is safe, what to use with caution and why. So I listed out why and what to avoid and why. So it really answers everything for you now. And there's no question at this point on like what you shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't do. But what we have done is we put together a really good pregnancy and breastfeeding protocol in the book. So it's not in the advanced reader's copy. This is a new section that was added to the book that's being launched 
tomorrow at noon Pacific Standard Time in the Founders Group. So if you want to be a part of the launch and get an autographed copy from me, that will happen just on Thursday as a as like a pre-release to those people who have been so generous in helping me. And I, you know, there I don't know that thousands of you will join um, because many of you guys will wait until um, September 1st, like when your paycheck comes in or whatever. But do know that we've got a couple things going on, one of them being my signature in that group. And then when we release the actual book on Friday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, that one won't be autographed, but just know that that one will be the live thing. And that one, you know, you'll want to get in on that as well, because that's a short time that we're going to be offering some extra bonuses with that. The people who are in that group get the bonuses as well. But I always love giving you guys extra content and I love blessing you with extra things. And so for the launch that will be for a very limited amount of time. So the advanced reader copy people who helped me figure out that we needed this pregnancy in there is going to get the first dibs. You're welcome to join that. That group is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash S D R book. So for supplements desk reference, so S D R book. Uh, so facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash S D R book. And you can join that group and then just look for that post. I'm going to post the link tomorrow, Thursday, August 29th at noon Pacific standard time. And that link will only be available to be purchased through 9 a.m. So once 9 a.m. hits, any orders that come in after that will just be the regular launch that won't be autographed. So that's the benefit. So if you're like chomping at the bit for it, because I can't autograph, you know, 20,000 books, we're just going to do the best we can and get you guys um, who have helped an autograph book. OK, <laughs> so. All right. So let's dive into the pregnancy um, now that we've kind of covered that, because I wanted you guys to get a, get aware, be aware of that. Um, let's just cover what pregnancy and breastfeeding protocol would look like. And remember, you must be your own best advocate. I am not a doctor. You need to check with your doctor on this and make sure he or she is aware of what you're doing. But what I have done along with Cindy Edens is gone through and figured out what is recommended by most doctors for pregnancy? What are some of the supplementation areas that are supposed to be in your prenatals, are supposed to be in everything that you're taking, and what is safe? Okay, so that being said, um, let's talk about this. And I'm going to kind of give you a couple interesting extra pieces that are not in the book, but that's always fun because that's what we love about our videos. Okay. So Ninja Red is a must for women who are pregnant and breastfeeding. So just know it supports your immune system and it supports all the beautiful antioxidants that are needed for pregnancy. Lots of really good nutrients in there for you. So for sure, Ninja Red. Um, Master Formula has a good amount of iron and lots of nutrients. And this is one of the caveats here. Some pregnant, pregnant women choose to take out the liquid capsule, but in our discussions and, and talking it over about what's in there, it's not a full essential oil capsule. It's not enough because it's liquid vitamins with some essential oils. So it's not enough to disrupt anything. And when we've pulled pregnant women who take master formula, they take all four of the capsules. So that's one area of potential concern. Um, Another area, and this is where we get into the nitty gritty of when you get the book, okay, and this is super important, when you get the book, you're going to want to open it up, right, like when you choose if this is the protocol you want, you're going to open it up to each individual supplement and read so that you know what is right for you. Does that make sense? So when people ask me, well, should I be doing this? I'm like, I don't know what's right for you. So the thing with master formula is something to consider is that it contains small amounts of caffeine. And that is where I think there's a little bit of crossover. There's this, I think it's white tea leaf or something, but it's not enough to make you have energy but it's an important note to, to know that the master formula has small amounts of caffeine, very small, oops, as I'm dropping things here. And some people are highly allergic to caffeine on all levels, all right? 
And so that's just a consideration. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, but most women take master formula because it is like your prenatal. It has everything in it that you need and it has all the iron that you need and that's an important one for you. Multigreens is another one, very good for immunity and nutrients. So I highly recommend that one. Omega Dice 3 DHA is so important for healthy baby growth and D3 is super important. Super Cal Plus, I can't tell you how many people don't consider this one, but you are making a baby with bones. So you will end up with crumbling teeth. You will end up with weak bones because you're, you're, if you're not getting enough calcium in your diet, your baby will not be getting enough and the baby will get enough. Let me tell you, the baby will get enough, which means it's going to pull from you. And there's an old wives tale that like women lose their teeth when they um, are pregnant. You know, people who are poor, who can't, and I'm talking old, long time ago, right? That were not able to get enough calcium in their diet. Um, and I've heard dentists say that that's an, a wives tale and that's not true. I lost two teeth two teeth from literal crumble. Like they crumbled in my mouth. It was disgusting. I was like, what just happened? Um, and it was not because of poor dental practices. It was because I wasn't getting enough calcium when I was pregnant with Jacob. So it's true. And you gotta take your calcium. Okay. So super Cal plus is the best. And you can even double up on that if you need to. Um, all right. Super B is excellent for folate. Okay. You want folate. That's the one you want. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and then Ninja Nitro, again, because there's caffeine, um, it's important to consider limiting this, but I know some women when it is necessary only, they take Ninja Nitro, but I don't recommend it every day. It would just be like a really when you absolutely have to. Okay. Um, and then Life Nine is good for immunity and gut health. And then optional, you can do Sulfurzyme and one digestive enzyme. Um, and you can see the appendix one in the book, in the back of the book to select the right enzyme for you. And you're just basically going to take this um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and after dinner schedule. It's Ninja Red, Master Formula, Omega Gize 3, Super B, and Super Cal Plus in the morning. And then at lunch, you're going to take another Super B tablet. So I split those usually in this book. And the, the label does say um, like 30 minutes before breakfast, take both. But it is recommended in the medical community to split your B vitamins up. So that's what we do. Same with Super Cal Plus. You really should consider splitting that up or just taking two doses of it, uh, depending on your needs. And then multi-greens, you'll take three capsules with lunch and Ninja Nitro if you need it. Remember, that's an if you need it. And then at dinner, you'll do your multi-greens again, three capsules with dinner and Omega Gize, two capsules with dinner. And then after dinner, you're going to take one capsule of Life 9, two to three hours after dinner on an empty stomach. So again, this is just a very easy to follow protocol. So let's get into what's safe to use during pregnancy and breath, breastfeeding, and then what to use with caution and what to avoid. So I'm just going to rattle off the list. All right. And again, this is in the book, so this will be very helpful for you. But in alphabetical order, these are what are safe. Agilis, Alkaline, Allerzyme, AminoWise, Balance Complete, BLM. I put CBD in there. I honestly feel it's perfectly fine. There's not enough studies out to really know, but all the studies on CBD talk about marijuana. They don't talk about CBD. They're talking about the full spectrum. Um, and so just so we're aware, and I've done some um, actual posts on this for you guys to feel confident about, but this is your choice. So anything I state in here that you're like, oh, maybe not for me, that's your choice. Uh, I feel it's safe though. Okay. Detoxime, Essentialzyme, Essentialzymes 4, ICP, Illuminize, Life 9, Master Formula, MindWise, Mineral Essence, Multigreens, Ninja Red, Olive Essentials, Omega Gize 3, PD8020, by the way, was created for Mary uh, because she was having a lot of morning sickness. So ladies that have a hard time in the first trimester, PD8020 is great. Uh, Pure Protein Complete, Sulfurzyme, Super B, Super C, Tablets and Chewables, Super Cal Plus, Sleek Bars, Sleek Gum, and Sleek Shake. Okay, so now again, Sleek Shakes, Master Formula, um, those two have a little bit of... of um, caffeine. So just up to you. Okay. Use with caution. Inner defense. It's okay for short-term use, 
Um, and one capsule every so often as needed, but I wouldn't use that every single day because one of the general rules of thumb with pregnancy is not to overdo it on internal use of essential oils. That's all. So just every once in a while, and that's a very strong one. Um, Immupro, melatonin is considered safe for occasional use with pregnancy, but not daily use. So that's it, that has melatonin in it. Um, K and B tincture, clove and fennel should be used with caution in blends with pregnancy. So again, that's up to you. Longevity, internal use of essential oil should be used with caution. So again, just remember longevity is a full essential oil capsule. Megacal is an interesting supplement that I don't recommend for pregnancy, but you can use it if you need to, because it can cause constipation and constipation can be kind of not good with pregnancy. Ninja nitro, again, okay to use once per day, but even that, I would limit that just for when needed. Um, Ningja Zing, same thing. It's a just use with caution, limit use of caffeine. Uh, Sleek Essence, internal use of essential oils should be used with caution. It's an all, it's all essential oils in that Sleek Essence. Sleek Tea, um, it's ca caffeine, right? It's natural form of caffeine and any natural stimulants are to be limited during pregnancy. And then Thyramin is something that you would want to consult your doctor when using the supplement. So that's a very specific supplement. It's probably probably one of our, our most um, closely related to a pharmaceutical, but it's bioidentical um, hormone stuff. So you would want to actually consult your doctor to see if that's something you would even need. And they, he or she would know. Okay. The things to avoid, and this is, I think the list you guys are all waiting for. Um, you need to avoid comfort tone because there's cascara sagrada is not safe. That's an ingredient in comfort tone, which is not safe for pregnancy. Juvitone, you, you know, this is a little bit controversial, but it has Oreg, um, Oregon grape root, right? So Oregon grape root contains berberine and berberine is not safe for pregnancy. So again, it's just, these are things called out in the natural health and medical community as not safe for, for um, pregnancy. Digest and cleanse, um, excessive use of internal essential oils is not advised and usually digest and cleanse people use like every day. Um, it's not necessary. Digest and cleanse is not a necessary thing for you guys to be using during pregnancy. So I just put it in the avoid section. You could use that with caution if you really wanted to, but you don't need that one. Parafree, it's a very strong um, only essential oil capsule. And so I don't recommend that one at all. Um, and it's not necessary for you to be on parafree during pregnancy. Um, okay. Juva Power has a couple things in there that are not good for pregnancy. Anise and Slippery Elm can have estrogenic effects, so we don't want to have that. Cardiogize has Dong Kwai, Motherwort, and um, Cat's Claw, and all three of those are not safe for pregnancy. Um, Cordistop has Black Cohash, Clary Sage, and Fennel, and all three of those are not safe for pregnancy. So no to Cordistop, but yes to PD8020, right? Those are very similar. Um, Endogize also is not, it's on the no-fly list for pregnancy because of the ashwagandha root, and that's not safe for pregnancy. Femigen is another one not safe for pregnancy. See, so see all the hormone supplements? Really, it's just PD8020, that's good to use. And it's amazing for pregnancy. So I would stick with that. Um, so Femigen has black cohash, dong kwai, and licorice root. All three are not safe for pregnancy. Power Dyes has ashwagandha root as well, and that's not safe for pregnancy. And then sleep essence um, is not great because of the melatonin, right? Because you could technically use that with caution, but it's on the no fly zone because rue is in it and rue is not safe for pregnancy. And then you've got sleek citrus slim, um, which has natural stimulants. And because again, that's just up to you, but the natural stimulants in sleep, sleek citrus slim, um, using in excessive amounts, uh, could, just not be good for you. So that's it. I mean, it's not, it's not hard and it's very specific as to why. And I think that's what you guys have all been waiting for is the, okay, fine. Tell me what to avoid, but I also kind of want to know why. And that's giving you a really good overview on pregnancy and breastfeeding. And I lump them together because when you're breastfeeding, you're still connected to that child. You're still giving him or her your nutrients from your breast milk. 
And so we just want to, it's, it's the same thing for both. Okay. Um, as far as using essential oils, that's not what this class is about, but um, that's up to you. So most women say it's fine to rub certain oils on your belly and certain oils. Absolutely not. Um, we're not getting into the essential oil list here. If you want to know which oils from young living not to use, um, there's a short list on the young living website and there's another short list. That's the same list in the human body and essential oils group. And it's much shorter than most other companies because our oils are the true botanical. When you start messing with nature, that's why you have a hard time with pregnancy because your body doesn't quite know what to do with it. And the baby doesn't know, know what to do with it. So people always ask me that, like, why is young living list so much shorter? And why do we have a couple oils on there that aren't on other lists, right? Like Clary Sage. And it's simply because we process things differently. Our oils are different. Um, emphatically, I can tell you our oils are different than every other oil company on the market. Other companies will claim no, but um, this is a case in point why we have a very short list because they are true botanicals where everybody else fractionates their oils. All right, that's it for this one. And um, it's been a great day with you guys. We, we did them in shorter segments for you so that it was easier to digest. And we've got more videos coming at you tomorrow, which I will absolutely try to do the same thing to make them short and sweet. We're going to cover stress and sleep. We're going to cover kids and teens. We're going to cover a budget-friendly protocol when you're using supplements. And then tomorrow we're going to, like I said, the cart will be open already um, and I'll be able to kind of give you some update on, on where we're at because we are going, I mean, we really are hoping that you guys, um, you know, get these books soon so that we can actually know to ship them. We, ha we will have them. They are coming in 20 minutes. I'm not kidding you. I have the, the printer is dropping off the first round of books. Um, we have so many books coming. We had to get another storage unit because it's just too much. And you guys have already proven to me that you want this book. Um, I hope we don't run out. This is the first book I've ever published that I'm wondering if I'm going to have to like call the publisher and be like, we need a whole nother set because you guys have already just blown me away with presale. We had to shut presale off because it was too much. There was too many. And I just didn't want you guys waiting for so long. So everyone's like, when is it coming? There will be links in an email that I will send to my email list. So if you're on the email list and you get emails from me every once in a while, you'll get an email. But um, I encourage you to get into that group, the um, the one in, on Facebook, so that you can get access to uh, the book early tomorrow at noon. That link will be open from noon until 9 a.m. And after 9 a.m. is when the cutoff is for signing them. Um, that link will be the same link that then will be posted to everyone else. And um, it's not, and here's the kind of confusing part, you guys, it's not going to be through 31 Oils website. Whenever we do a launch, we have to separate it because it massively impacts random people that are ordering off of 31 oils, right? Um, and they don't get their oil. They don't, they won't get their orders right away. And so we, we split them whenever we do a launch, we split it. So you won't be able to order like brand comparison charts and the SDR book. So just know it's going to be like, you're going to be able to order the book. And let me kind of help you on a couple of the things. Cause I want to, I want to kind of show you what we're doing here. Um, I have a couple surprises for you guys. I'm going to show you one of the surprises, which I'm super excited about. And you, if you're listening in on the podcast, I can't really show you this, but I'll explain it. Um, this is the supplements usage guide. And some of you guys saw a, a smaller version of this at convention where we just had the hormone supplements and the digestive enzyme, su enzyme supplements. So basically what it is, is it's a usage guide to all of our digestive enzymes, all five of them, and what all of them do. So you can really break it down and see which ones you need. And then the hormones where it talks about all five of our hormone supplements and it breaks it down to what it does. So you can really choose which one's right for you. But then when you open it up on the inside, it's every single supplement Young Living carries and what it does. So you can break it down to what you think you need. And then we even covered the vitality line, which is also supplements. So the whole book has a whole section of vitality line supplements, which is going to really help you understand like, well, which of these supplements are going to help for my lymphatic system? Has anyone ever asked that question? I don't know. But if you have that question, you, you'll know now. So it's a, a very exciting usage guide. We have another surprise, which I will show you guys tomorrow and you won't want to miss this. And then we will be opening up the all book bundle. 
which is a huge discount because you're getting, I think it's like $120 worth of um, books, all eight of my books for $50 off. So it's going to be $70. And that is a, an amazing book bundle. So if you don't have any of my books, you'll be able to get that. And then I have another special for you guys that Tim is putting together right now as we speak. And I'm excited about that one. So that's going to be fun for you guys. So we're just offering three things tomorrow and Friday. Really, Friday is when that's going to open up and you guys will be able to see that. And so I'm excited for Friday. I hope you guys are as well, because Friday is going to be a full fun day of me just hanging out with you guys. OK, and um, we're going to do some open Q&A's. We're going to have a lot of fun. So we're going to see how we can manage this on Facebook and on um YouTube live. So you just tell me where you want to live and we're going to do giveaways on Friday. Friday is going to be a super fun day. And so you can pop in on your lunch hour, pop out. I'm, I'm really going to be sitting here for several hours just hanging out with you guys. So um, we don't know the exact timing on that yet, but I'm very excited for it. All right, you guys, that's it for, um, for today. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I can't wait to hang out with you guys again tomorrow and we will see you next time. Bye guys. Oh, Facebook live. You're buried. <laughs> I can't find where I put you. Oh, here we are. Sorry. Isn't that funny? I have too many, too many streams up. So there we are. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you soon. Bye.